Hey guys, today we are doing grass cutter lawnmower ale. Mmm, sounds delicious. By that guy. Mash Brewing. I think it's Australian, yeah. Live bottle conditioned beer brewed and bottled in Australia. Um, I don't really know much about it. I just saw a lawnmower and thought it would be grassy, and I like grassy things. So, okay. So I wanted to try it. I thought it would be nice and fresh and zingy and nice. 1.2 standard drinks. 4.4 is a bit weak. 4.4%. Lawnmower ale. More of a term than a style. Ours is fermented. Two different toasts of French oak. The subtle aroma of peach. Pear. <laughs> and... <laughs> <laughs> complimenting subtle Venus 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 glad I got left you for the difficult words I don't know what that means palette is pleasantly drying with continuing hop and oak complexity let's crack it open find out what it's like crack a body crack a body <laughs> Crack a tinny. But it's not a tinny, it's a bottle, so crack a body. That's how to speak Australian, as you take the word, shorten it by half, Ooh. add a Y, there you go. Ooh. So it's bottle, half it, bot. It smells like cheese. Add a Y, body. Oh, it smells really like nice. cheese. Isn't like really tangy cheese? Mm, it's a bit bluey. Nice. Let's give it a go. The taste of really tangy cheese is how this smells. Nice and yellow. It's like cheese juice. It's kind of ready, isn't it? Yeah, it's got like a ready tinge to it, but because it's that yellow. Uh oh. She's doing weird things when she Try has the first mouthful. I don't know. What is it? Oh, it's the peach. Oh, is that what it is? It's peach, but it's very subtle. Yeah. It's quite refreshing. It's not what I was expecting at all. None of them have been. No, they really haven't. Like, I was expecting a, a grassy ale, because it's called Grass Cutter Lawn Mower. I don't know what it is. I was expecting a lager, and it's not, it's not, I don't think. It's an ale. Mm. Lawn Mower Ale, of course, not a lager. <laughs> <laughs> was, lawn Mower Lager. <laughs> I was expecting a lager, and I was expecting it to be, like, have that real grassy taste. It's, it's got like a fruity taste peach not not sweet it's not sweet at all to me it's like they've taken a whole keg and chucked in maybe a dozen peaches into it mm. and yeah you know it's it's not overpoweringly peach flavored it's not bam in the face it's just oh there's a peach bean near this at some point hey mm. and it doesn't smell of fruit either it smells very sweet though if you take a big, big sniff, you can taste the, can you can taste? You can smell a sort of peachiness. If you take a big sniff, you'd be able to taste it. Yeah. <sighs> yeah. You can. It smells sweet, and it's the peach. You smell yours. Your smells. Yours smells different to mine. Yours Probably because there's more more air yeah. getting to mine, or escaping. Now we should mention that ours is, ours is um, out of date. <laughs> Again, <laughs> it's, it it wasn't when we bought it. It's just been in the fridge for a really long time. Yeah. Um, we do that sometimes. I think we intended to do one every day, and it's turned into one every week. Yeah. So, so that that happened, but it's our money, so deal with it. I don't um, think I like it. I wouldn't drink it. I would. It's not bad. It's drinkable. It's it's pleasant, but I don't like it, you know what I mean? 
Mm. Like if someone gave it to me and was like, oh, do you like this? I'd be like, yeah, it's really nice. <laughs> really? I'll drink this. I <laughs> but inside I'd be like, oh, I don't really like it. <laughs> what is it? It's... I'm going to give it a six and a half because I don't really like it. Cutter Lawnmower Ale. Out of date by a few months. But that is because it's been hiding in the back of our fridge. I don't mind it. Actually, oh. I'm just going to give it a five and a half. I'm going to give it a seven. Because I would drink this. It's not bad. I just don't like it. It's not, not to my flavour profile. I don't get grass. I not don't, my definitely style. Definitely doesn't taste like lawnmowers. <laughs> doesn't taste like lawnmowers to me. <laughs> doesn't taste like grass cuttings. But... I like it. Yeah, it's pleasant enough. I just... not for me. It says no additives. No additives or preservatives, so it's probably well off by now. <laughs> we get sick from that, oh well. The things we do for you. Anyway, that's it for today. Le bye Le bye Le bye Le bye Eble. Eble. This is this is more a uh, man in the city. Yeah, man in the city, sort of rich Ponzi area. Yeah, and walks into a bar and says, "Oh, I'll have the fancy one with the." That's been there. wafted over a coffee bean and thrown yeah. at a sieve. Yeah, it's nice though. It's oppy hokey. Wait. <laughs> Op <laughs> it's oppy and hokey. Let's get creative. Let's not. <laughs> Green is not a creative colour. <laughs> Latest piercing fashion. Cheek piercing. I think we have a cat wanting to come in. It's a Christopher. Oh, so he doesn't want to come in then. He just wants the door open so he can see what we're doing and then bugger off. Meow! Meow! <laughs> you should leave that there. What? And just like collect them? You should wear it to work and see if anyone says anything. <laughs> What's wrong with your ear? Nothing. Nothing. <laughs> Why does it smell like cheese? Because your bottle's too close to your feet. <laughs> is, it... <laughs> is that because it's off? Cheese. I don't get cheese. Maybe it's the pear. Maybe that's what vinous, vin, vin, vino, vinous, vin, vinous means. Maybe it's cheese. Mm. It's twelve standard drinks. It's one point two. <laughs>